Hello everyone, how is it going? I hope all of you are doing amazingly well. I am Dominic Paul, Dom, the founder and director of Freedom Creative Studio. And I am here today to answer 50 questions that my team has been putting in this iPad and a little bit of a Q&A just so you guys can get to know me a little better and my company and yeah, just get a deeper insight on my life. So should we dive in? I think we should. All right, first question. Where do you currently reside and what is your favorite spot to chill? Um, so I currently live in Plymouth, and which is in the south of the UK, and I love, always love going to the Barbican whenever I feel homesick because it reminds me of, fun fact, I'm from Mauritius, and it reminds me of my home country because it's got a beautiful sea view and obviously with the sea view comes the scent, the feels, the warmth and the sea breeze and also the food. So if you ever come through Plymouth and or you go through Plymouth or you just want to Google it, go on ahead and check out the Barbican. It is just a sight for the soul. If you travel a lot for work or leisure, what is the most important thing traveling can do for a person? First of all, yes, I do have, I'm very lucky because I get to travel and I'm very grateful as well to travel for work and leisure as well. And I believe that um, traveling just opens up your mind and because you get to talk to people, learn about the cultures and obviously discover the places that our beautiful planet has to offer. So it's an experience that I wish for you to live. What is the first thing you do when visiting a place where you've never been before? Um, okay, first of all, I put my GoPro on the minute I step off the plane or the train because I have a travel vlogging segment called Freedom Journeys, which you can find on my YouTube channel. And yeah, so I just vlog around and I just show you guys places and then I get myself some well-deserved food because food is life. But then I, I literally get myself lost on purpose because let's be honest, no great adventures ever started on let's follow the plan. So yeah. <laughs> the first thing you look forward to when coming back from holidays. My two baby girls, the new additions to my life, my two bunnies, Phoebe and Creamish, I, they're the sweetest, they're the cutest, and I love them to bits. So, yeah. Your favorite moment from a past vacation? Going to Amsterdam and seeing Alesso perform in front of me. He's my favorite DJ. And seeing him perform in front of me, it was just mind-blowing, and I could not even believe that I was there, so I ended up crying at the end of his set. So, yeah. <laughs> How do you unwind after a hectic day? I just go with the flow. If I want to go to the gym, go partying, or just be a potato couch, really depends. One word that would describe your life at the moment, exciting. Why Freedom Creative Studio? Um, I guess, well, I'll make it as simple as that. Free Dom if it wasn't obvious yet. But also on a more serious note, I wanted to create a place where people would thrive, would grow and learn from their mistakes, where literally you would be embraced for your uniqueness rather than being mocked or called out or, you know, yeah. What differentiates your company from others? Um, the fact that I consider my company, Freedom Creative Studio, as a family rather than um, colleagues, teammates, clients. So uh, you take care of your family, like I always say, and you spend eight hours a day with those people. So, and those people see you at your best or at your worst, and they accept you as you are, they should. So therefore, I believe that just creating a, an environment where everyone is happy, comfortable, and where you can, where you're able to be yourself, you feel valued and loved, I think that's the most important thing that I th I'm pretty sure differentiates us from other companies. What uh, your most memorable moment throughout your career? 
handing out my resignation letter and starting Freedom Creative Studio, hands down, my biggest achievement. Um, any tips for someone who wants to follow into your footstep, footsteps? Okay, first of all, do not follow into my footsteps. Create your own path, carve your own way, just write your own story because there is nothing more satisfying than starting something from scratch and building it to become something big. But also, well, to answer the question, I would say listen to advice, but don't don't listen to too many advice as well. Trust your guts. If you take a leap of faith and you end up crashing on the floor, that's fine. You made a mistake, learn from it, grow from it, get back up, keep pushing forward. At some point, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm speaking from experience here. So yeah, just don't overthink and don't be too harsh on yourself. You are going to a concert. Who is on stage? Dua Lipa, because I saw her a couple of weeks ago and she was phenomenal. So that was an easy answer. Have you ever had a moment in your career where you had any doubts at all about your chosen path every single day? Because I consider myself as an artist rather than a designer, and which means that anything that has to do with art, literature, music, fashion, painting, designs, I'm all here for it. So I did struggle because I love, my passion is music, but I also love doing designs. So I just merged them both and now I get to enjoy the best of both worlds. Your favorite genre of music. I listen to any kind of music, but I find myself going back to house, deep house, techno. So I'd say electronic music. A song that best describes you and why. If I Lose Myself by Alesso, which is the song which made me cry during his concert in Amsterdam because the song is just imbued, it's just filled with emotions, the symphonies, the lyrics, everything is just puzzled together and it's such a beautiful composition. So if you have the chance to listen to it, go on ahead, it is just delicious for the ears. Where words fail, music speaks. Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm renting at the moment, I have a beautiful apartment, but I would love, first of all, to have a massive house with a massive back garden so that I can foster loads of babies, animals, I'm talking about animals, <laughs> but also have kids, a family possibly, and Freedom Creative Studio mainly just uh, stabilizing everything, having my company just function of its, on its own and just having a happy, quiet, peaceful and Comfortable life, mainly. Any upcoming projects in the making? Yes, I do. Uh, I have my brand coming out very soon called The Black Sheep. Matter of fact, I am actually wearing a black sheep apparel right now. So this is what you're going to get. So brace yourselves because it has been a project that I have been putting a lot of effort in and I hope that you guys will love it. So. Just check out your socials because we'll be dropping soon. Um, how is your social media persona different from your real life persona? I guess I'm still the same everywhere. It's just that on social media, because it's a one way conversation, a monologue with my phone, it's not really, so I'm very hyper. I talk a lot with my friends as well. I'm very hyper and I do talk a lot when you get me going, you get me going, but I would say that when I'm by myself, I'm very quiet, very demure, very different from what I am outside of my house because I enjoy uh, my alone time, sometimes a little bit too much. So yeah. What was the most important lesson you've learned when you started the jour this journey? Surround yourself with like-minded people because um, if you have the right people, you will have the right mindset and the right energy. and I usually say your circle speaks levels about you and they will either bring you there or there. So just be careful what and be mindful of what you confide to people about you. So yeah. What is your favorite corner of the house? This sofa. 
So I'm guessing you already, you can already see the vibe here. I'm very comfortable in this sofa because first of all, outside, it's very beautiful. I got the rays of sunlight and it's, it's amazing. But also, um, I don't know, it's got this very cocoon kind of like shape to so this part of my house. And it soothes me, it makes me feel, makes me feel just happy and just right. And it's just right. So it's just the vibe of the place. So that's that. What is the best and worst gift you have ever been given? Um, the best gift was my dog. Um, she left us now, but she was she lived for 20 years and she was gifted to me by my parents when I passed my exams. Her name was Yuppie. And I'm not going to say the worst gift. I'm going to say the not so great. So on top of my head, I remember one day someone gifted me a Hufflepuff teddy bear and I'm a Gryffindor. So I found it odd. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. I found it odd. But I still say thank you because that's what you do. A gift comes from the heart. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you travel to Jupiter. What are the five things you bring along? My phone, my laptop, my PS5, because obviously. Um, I'd say my bunnies and some comfort food, not from the UK, from Mauritius, because I would obviously get planet sick, not even homesick, planet sick. So I would love to have comfort food from Mauritius. What is a trait that you got from your mum and your dad? I'd say my parents are both kind and I'm so lucky because I have amazing parents. Hi mom, hi dad. And I'd say I get the welcoming side of my mum and the very helpful and caring side of my dad. So yeah. What languages do you speak? English, French, I'm very fluent in French and Creole, obviously the mother tongue of Mauritius, and I'm learning Spanish at the moment. A word of expression in your mother tongue that you often use. Okay, uh, the first word is a bad word that popped up in my head. I'm not going to say bad words here because bad words are a very present thing in the Mauritian lingo. But I'd say, I'd say ayo, um, A-Y-O, because if you bang your foot, ayo, oh, and if you see a cute bunny, mine. Are you? So see what I did there? That's what you get. Um, something that really annoys you. Disrespect and disloyalty. Five words to best describe yourself. Okay. Um, what's another word for freedom? Free-spirited. Um, very driven person. Uh, spontaneous, adventurous, and I'd say minimalist. There you go. Your favorite animal. Um, all right, although I have two lovely little ladies in literally there, uh, my bunnies, I hope they don't hear me saying that. I do love dogs. <laughs> favorite design software and why? Illustrator, because it's a very versatile software and you can do a lot with just a pen tool and some creativity, so yeah. How would your friends best describe you? Positive. You receive a design collaboration request. Who is it from? Christo, because a couple of years back, I was, when I first started Freedom at some point, I was just creating things just for the sake of putting content out there. And one of my friends suggested to go on his page and I was mind blown. And most of my content, most of my if freedom is what it is today, it's sort of because of this guy also. So he guided me through his contents and social media. So have a look. It will be totally worth your time. So Chris Do C-H-R-I-S space Do D-O. Someone you would love to catch a coffee with and why? First of all, for all that energy, I don't drink coffee at all. So a milkshake, uh, mint chocolate, please. And I think it would be Martin Garrix. Uh, he's a Dutch DJ and just like Christo, um, his brain is just out of this world. So go, ch go check him out. He's got like a show on uh, YouTube. Uh, you're going to understand everything. So yeah. How did you become an entrepreneur? Trial and error. Trial and error. And also literally doing a, doing a couple of companies, failing at them and collaborating with people 
some were successful, four lines, for example, Fernando, Alexandra, and Xavier, co-founders as well. And some were not, but then I took all this experience and I just literally put it into freedom and this is what you're seeing today, years of experience. What is your favorite thing and biggest complaint about your job? Okay, pun intended, I have the freedom to do whatever I want. And the biggest complaint is that I don't have enough time for myself to myself and I can be very tired because this line of work can, if you have the shoulders and the mindset, go for it, but it's not for everyone. But the adventure and the end result is totally worth it. So yeah. What are your views on eco-sustainability? I try my best to implement literally the paper-free um, concept in my agency because sometimes you do have to use paper, so unfortunately. But yeah, so if it can be, re if it can be recycled, I will either make art out of it or just recycle it and just be very mindful about protecting animals, uh, nature, and all that. If you were to get a superpower, what would it be? And name five characters who would make the cut on your suicide squad. It would be teleportation, and I would be teamed up with the best, obviously. Batman, um, for some reason, Joker, because obviously, um, Batman and Joker. Um, Scorpion, Kratos, and Iron Man. You're under the sorting hat, which house are you? That's been answered, Gryffindor, next. You go to the cinema, favorite snacks, a tub of popcorn, which I usually finish before the movie even starts. <laughs> Uh, some gummies, Harry Bows, uh, and some M&Ms, the yellow um, packaging. What's your favorite movie and TV show of the moment? Uh, the Harry Potter series for, for my favorite movies. Don't ask me to choose. It's going to be a huge debate, way longer than this segment. And the TV show of the moment is Stranger Things, but... So TV show of, the, of all times, I think it'd be Friends, my number one TV show. Which, speaking of which, which character of the Friends TV show you relate the most to? Chandler, because when I'm awkward, I do dad jokes and it makes everyone cringing. So, yeah. <laughs> Have you got any tattoos? Yes. If yes, yes. How many and which one is your most special? I got... Five tattoos, and this one is my most special. It's written freedom, and obviously it was given to me. This was my first tattoo, and it was gifted to me by someone very special. A motto you live your life by? Life is too short to live it to the fullest. Your comfort food? A big, juicy burger. French fries with cheese, loads of cheese, because cheese is life. And some ketchup as well. And a massive pint of cold Coca-Cola. Favorite color. So fun fact, hashtag free. I never knew what my favorite color was until starting Freedom because I studied which color would match me the best. And I found out that it was the color of blue, literally. And which is why now you see blue everywhere. So yeah. What is your go-to outfit during a meeting and a face-to-face, -face, a Zoom meeting and a face-to-face -face meeting? Not to brag about it, but I'm very fashion forward. So I'm always well-dressed, maybe outside of the house or inside the house or so indoors or outdoors. So at the end of the day, I'm always prepared. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? To be more, my, to be more myself and not listen too much about what people have to say about me or behind my back. There's a reason for why they're behind my back. What's the one thing you're tired of hearing? Um, I think when people see my life on social media, they assume that uh, I'm this party person and that I go to the Apple store every week and buy Apple products or gaming and stuff like that. And I often get called immature. So that's very annoying because if you don't know someone's life story, you can't really judge them. So, and also I don't share everything on social media. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Any tips to get instantly creative? So what I do is that I put all my screens away. I only take my phone, put my phone on airplane mode, pop my best playlist, usually LSO, or 
some techno or deep house playlist, depending on my mood. And then I take a pen or a pencil and paper, which is why I said paper free at best, because sometimes you just need paper and unfortunately, yeah. And then I just let my brain and hand connect and they do the job for me. Five things in life you are that are important and personal to you. My family, my mental health, my company, uh, I'd say my happiness and I say just people getting along well, being chill, um, peace. I'll call it peace. Oh, last question. What is something that your followers would love to know about you? That my name is not really Dominic. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I guess that I've been writing a book for quite some time now and I wanted to release the book this year, but I'm still not ready for that because it's a very personal book which speaks about my hardships and how I became the person that I am today and freedom and yeah, all that. So the book will come out very, very soon, I hope at least, but it will come out eventually. So brace yourselves and I hope you will enjoy what you will be reading. So there you go, guys. 50 questions done and done. I'm very happy that I got to do that. And I hope that you've learned new stuff about me or if you needed to update your catalog of things that you know about me. Job well done. Tap on the shoulder. I just wanted to say thank you so much while I'm here. Thank you so much to my parents, my family, my friends and everyone else who has been involved in Freedom Creative Studio in my journey and always supporting you guys, always supporting, always commenting, sharing, sending me messages. I really, really appreciate all of the love that I'm getting. So yeah, I'm just very happy at the moment. Life is good. And I hope that this little segment will make you smile. So on that note, I will wish you a happy, happy sunny day. And I'll send you some sun, some good vibes and positive vibe. And I will catch up with you real soon. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much.